good morning. Just about to make a smoothie. It's actually Tuesday. Yesterday was a public holiday, so I didn't vlog. I chilled. We did some like house stuff, exercise stuff. Uh, what else? Went and bought some paint for a fence, played some games, like just had like a kind of admin and a chill day, did a little bit of editing and stuff like that. Um, so today I'm doing lots of editing. I actually have the worst hay fever. My eyes have come down from this morning, but you can see I'm like all red and dry on those like, can you see that? And like this inner corner is so swollen and it feels like sandpaper, it's so itchy. Right now I feel okay, but it's only a matter of time, trust me. I've had this since like yesterday morning where my eyes feel like sandpaper. They're so itchy, I could sit there and like pull out every eyelash. I've literally pulled out so many of my eyelashes. So I've got hay fever eye drops, that's another thing I did yesterday. I went to the freaking chemist. I've got hay fever tablets, I've got hay fever nasal spray. Like literally everything. Whoops, I'm making a smoothie now, so let's do that. Good yum. Okay, yeah, so I've just been editing all day <clears throat> and so also doing other little tasks like recycling I so much and my back is where I'm not usually a massive sweater IRL like I'll sweat a bit at the gym, but that's about it Like I don't usually sweat this much when it's hot. It is that hot outside. It's like freakishly hot I don't know what the temperature is today, but my face is like damp. It's so disgusting Anyway, I just got a package that I ordered online. I ordered some more of my subs, so I thought I'd show you what I got. I ordered off Pakaranga Pharmacy online, and I don't know, there's heaps places you can get this stuff, but I just kind of order off there. That's the website, if you're curious. I ordered some more of these little needle things for my, you know, ketone thing. Let's check it. This vlog's boring so far, so let's check my ketones. I'm meant to be having lunch right now and I'm not hungry whatsoever. I'm still full from my smoothie this morning. But the team at JRF, like, you need to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner for your metabolism and your thyroid health and all of that stuff. By the way, sorry, I've got my, like, pants up here and you can see it. Um, what's new? So I've got 10 test strips. I probably should have actually got a couple of those, but whatever. And then I ordered some more of my essentials that I put in my magnesium at night, which I'm just starting to do again because I kind of like tested not having magnesium at night just because of all those nightmares I was having. Some people said they can cause like, I mean, some people said magnesium can cause stronger dreams. So I like just stopped taking it for a little bit, but my doctor who specializes in like nutrition, hormones and stuff like this, I was talking to him obviously about just my overall health He's the one that figured out my thyroid was low. And so these are <clears throat> like the supplements that he recommends I personally take. So obviously you may not need these. It's something you need to talk to your doctor about, but in case you're curious. I have selenium. I have iodine. Is that how you say iodine? Iodine, I'm not sure. And zinc. I have, oops, I have this tray of vitamins and things. I'm going to actually do a declutter. Um, of my pantry I think later this week if I am not run off my feet or else next week if I do get busy um, and I might put it on my Shanexo fit page on Instagram just because I feel like I don't know it's kind of boring for I don't know a main channel video but I'll probably show it in the vlog also so if you're a vlog watcher you won't miss out so this is my other one I've actually got heaps left so I probably didn't even need that yet is it expired oh yeah that's expired actually so Probably a good thing. Um, these things do expire. So I have four drops of this. And what I'll do is I just write on it. So four, so that I don't forget. And then I have three drops of selenium. Is this expired too? Yes, holy shit, that's well expired. Um, and then my zinc I already used up. Is that four or five? 
five drops. I'll do five drops of that. So five, three, and four. Yeah, that is right actually, because I remembered um, each number was different. Five drops of zinc is one serve. And then um, I have one of these, but I've recently just repurchased this instead of buying these, because I'll keep these ones I already have for traveling. Um, but just because there's less plastic, obviously, in the tub form, so that's really good. But I'll obviously just repurchase these once in a while for my travels, so that's all done. So all of these things help to support my healthy thyroid function. Like iodine or iodine is good for thyroid and energy. Once again, don't just go balls deep and buy all this stuff if you don't need it. Like, you know, go to your doctor and get like a blood test and get everything checked. And just see what they recommend or go to a nutritionist or naturopath they kind of like specialize in that kind of stuff i suppose you have your little needle and you put the needle in and then i take one of these which these ones are specific for ketones so it's a bit different to what you use for diabetes i'm pretty sure there's a few different ones anyway so you have to buy the right ones and you just stick it in <clears throat> i got this from the same website i just showed you and then it'll come out this little like thingy which means prick I have mine set to four pull it back I push my finger flab up and then pierce and then just kind of squeeze the blood out I won't show you too close in case you don't like blood and then you just literally like lay this on it and it just sucks up the blood which is kind of like satisfying 1.6 so that's well in Stoked. JRF is doing its thing. Right, it's been a while and I've decided that I am hungry now. So I'm gonna make a really light lunch and just show you what I've done. I've already meal prepped some of it because I made Hamish and I lunch this morning. I wanted him to go to work with something because we didn't plan anything last night. So I cooked up some chicken and bacon. So I'll show you what I'm gonna be having for lunch. Oh my god, my hamstrings hurt so much. Holy freaking shit. Woo, I can't stand like that. I have a rasher of bacon and how much chicken was this? I think it was about 80 grams or 100 grams. So I'm just gonna heat that up. And I've decided I'm throwing out these leggings tonight because they've been worn so thin. I've had them for like five years. They are so thin, you guys. Like I swear, you can see my bum in them. I'm not trying to waste water in the background, but it's so hot today that all the pipes are like boiling. And I'm trying to run some cold water um, for the lettuce to rinse off my lettuce. And it's literally hot still. I've been running it for a minute. Like I shit you not. I just checked again. So yeah, we're gonna let that cool down. I'm gonna have about 70 grams of tomato with my meal. These scales, I'm pretty sure I got sent them from like Vanity Planet or something. People asked. All right, we're gonna have a little bit more. I'm gonna have 80 grams. I'm gonna do a little bit of mayo instead of olive oil today on my salad and a half avocado too. I have this like lettuce and cabbage and carrot kind of mix. I usually avoid packaged um, like salad mixes because um, you know, they come in plastic, but all of the lettuces were like white. Well, you know when they're not green, they just come in and they're like, I guess kind of like this anyway. But at least there's some green in here. But see how that's like white lettuce? Like, that's how they've all been at the supermarket and I don't know what's up with that. I'm just gonna rip up my bacon in here. Chicken. Avocado. I cracked this open this morning for Hamish, so... I'm just kind of slicing it with my fork and then rotate it out. Whoops, that's a brown spot. By the way, you know how this morning I had avocado on my smoothie? It's so good when your avocados start to go all brown. Like, not obviously to the point where they're like rotting. But you know sometimes when you crack it open it's just a little bit like too far gone that you don't really want it in a salad. Like, this is perfect to me where it's like a little bit squishy, it's like perfectly ripe. If it's gone a bit too far, it's perfect to chuck them in your smoothies because you can't taste it anyway. And then about 20 grams, or just under, of olive oil. I mean, not olive oil. I'm doing mayo instead of olive oil. I just dry cooked the bacon and chicken. I don't usually always weigh my food. It's kind of more just like at the start until I know roughly how much each thing weighs. Like just to kind of reset myself. And then I usually just weigh my food every now and then once I'm kind of used to it. Just to make sure I'm still on track and not like 
doing massive servings and stuff. And it does get a little bit easier when I've been doing keto for longer than like one week because well, coming on two weeks. Or was it two weeks? Wait, how long have I been doing this? Anyways, um, you know, when you've been doing keto for longer, you get full AF all the time, which is probably why I wasn't hungry till right now as well. Naturally, I just don't want big portions, whereas when I'm eating carbs, like, I could, like, tuck into so much food. So, it's kind of when I'm, like, transitioning from eating carbs back to keto. Like, I really need to measure everything to make sure that I'm getting the right amount of nutrition. Otherwise, yeah, it's just all out of whack. So, once again, these macros are my macros. So, everyone's different. In your needs but this is what food i need in my life right now and then in a couple of weeks i will you know see where i'm at and see if i didn't change anything I like how the goat's in the same position as them too. <laughs> Just three dudes hanging out. Are you a bit hot today? They'll be out here because it's a bit cooler. It's so hot, I've got the aircon like pumping. Apparently it was only like 28 degrees, but still. Little cow and little deer. She's seeing a little bit of blue light over my skin. God, it looks weird. It makes my skin look so disgusting. I've got the Dermalogica hydrating mask on. I'm just using that. I forgot to make my magnesium drink. I feel like it's too late. I'll do it tomorrow. This is by Skinning, by the way. I'll link it down below if I remember. Um, Hamish's parents are at our beach house. They got quite frequently, and today there was um, this lady across the road from our beach house, which it was kind of sad. Like I think she was on like a lot of drugs. But anyways, Hamish was just showing me the video. She was like doing cartwheels like on her car taking off her clothes like all sorts of stuff eh? like yelling and screaming at some man he was drinking um yeah. and he was driving and she was like, like not good and then she drove yeah fucking most bitch <laughs> it was like pretty crazy do any of you guys live in Papa Mall? did you hear about it in the actual state of I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I'm so sheltered. The whole yell out. If yeah, da, da, da. yeah. Oh, geez. I think yeah. the neighbours were calling the cops, but they up and left after like what five minutes or so. It was pretty crazy though. Those people like should not be in cars. <laughs> like it's horrible. I feel bad for people. They get hooked on that shit, but so dangerous like for them and everyone else as well like i'm just like jesus i hope she's not gonna run anyone over if she couldn't she, she could not drive there's no nah. way she was like judging from what i saw I she was, was like, falling wow. over doing cartwheels jumping on the bonnet just with her legs up in the air as well, like all over the shower yeah. it's like wow you're gonna not healthy drive? good luck yeah so it's a bit scary but yeah tell them about the other thing that happened to us once what? Remember when we walked down to the surf club? Oh yeah, this I don't think I told you guys that. Fucked up. When we were in Papa Mall for the long weekend, this guy comes up to me. Wait, no, I think I did tell them. Okay. Because I remember people being like, the fuck? But I can't remember if it was on vlog or stories. But anyways, um, I was walking a little bit ahead, like literally two meters ahead with Louie and Zeus. Hamish was behind me and then Bevan and Michaela were behind me as well. And anyways, this guy comes up to me chill as and he just looked like a typical like... 25 year old like tourist kind of look like just chilling like a bit unkept in his like beard but like no, not he, crazy or anything he, he's he just looked very normal yeah like that's what i'm trying to say like he looked quite normal he just looked like a tourist or something and he comes up to me i thought he's gonna be like do you have like a lighter or do you know where so and so is or i thought he's gonna say something like that so i was prepared for that and then he goes can i kick your dog and because i was prepared for him to be like can i borrow your lighter or something um, I was like, what? He's like, oh, sorry, can I kick your dog? And I was like, the fuck? <laughs> and I was like, ushering Louis and Zeus like away from him clearly, like immediately. And I'm just like, what? And then Bevan's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he started yelling at me. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, real weirdo. 
so. I, I just should have been like, oh, can I just shoot you in the fucking, like, like, that's how ridiculous the question <laughs> is. Can I kick your dog? It's yeah. like, oh, can I? And he said it like he was asking for a lighter or like he was asking for directions. Like, that's yeah. how chilly was about it. Oh, can I kick you in the nuts? <laughs> oh, no, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Like, what? Like, he must have been on something. He didn't seem, he seemed very normal. And I then was... he, like, kind of walked away. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry for asking. And we're all like, what the fuck? Yeah, oh, and it's so one of those bad. things like it completely throws you off and just ruins your day. Like, not like anything happened, but you're just like, come on, like, well, no, really? It it's like a though. vibe buzz. Yeah, of course. I don't know, like, would he have done it? I don't even want to think about it. I would have, like, gone psycho if he'd, like, done anything to Louis and Zeus. I feel sad for them. Get some help. My eyes look absolutely wired because of hate fever. Look at this big crease I've got under here because all in this inner corner is all dry, flaky skin. I'm hoping to be able to film tomorrow, but. I don't know if I'll be able to put makeup on it. It's like friggin' scales and just there. But my eyes did not hurt as much today. They were still like dry and itchy, but yesterday they were like hurting at the same time because like it was just like over the top amounts of itchiness, dryness, like everything all at once and it was like painful. Whereas today they're a little bit itchy, still very dry, but it didn't like, it's like blah. It's just not as bad as yesterday. So I'm hoping tomorrow it's like better. I've done my eye drops and hey fever tablets and no sprays and I think I just cannot skip a day because if I skip one day of like a hay fever tablet that I got from my doctor I just wake up wrecked and yeah I've got this like annoying like sore throat cough thing happening just here and there like everything's just dry like the pollen is destroying my life anyways I'm gonna go to sleep now mm, let me just yeah. show you Louis and Zeus what Northland, Eastern and then Bay of Pliny <laughs> Hamish is looking up methamphetamine presence per capita in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. It's fucked up, man. You guys all need to chill out over doing that shit. Here we go, X, this is another one. They have plenty Not surprised. In, coming in a solid third again. <laughs> yeah, Bay of Plenty. Where's, what's... What's Palmy at? I feel oh, like Palmy would be high on the that? meth scale. Yeah. I don't see people in Palmy like on meth though, but I've heard what? that it's super common in Palmerston North. But, like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone methed out, really. Well, there was that one lady and man that were fighting when we went to the cop station, remember? When we were picking that? up dumplings one time and they were, like, trying Why to kill each other. You said when we were at the comp, cop station. What were we doing? We, we went to the cop station. Why did we go to the cop station? To report them, because they were, like, trying to kill each other. What? We, it was like Yumi and Bevan or Yumi and John or something. We were picking up dumplings like three years ago and there was like this lady and man and like the, they were like trying to like kill each other. They were screaming at each other like, I'm going to kill you. And they were like, was I there? yeah, because we went into the cop station and we were like, heads up, literally a minute that way, there's like a massive scene. And they were like driving around and parking up and like throwing fists and stuff it was crazy so that was probably something i don't know it didn't yeah. look normal it was very extreme does anyone else get addicted to watching vice i'm real whenever you see those like oh shows about like crime and drugs no, not crime, just like i like, liked that I one don't... that was about the cannibals like cannibals in africa they're like and it was like meth and what? like cannibals in africa with meth it sounds I'm fucking sure psychotic it was something like that if I can find that the documentary like I'm talking about, I'm going to link it below. But just, I just don't understand how people, like, you know, obviously it's a problem. I, it, it's very eye-opening to see these addicts trying to stay off them. And then I'm like, how do you get to that point, man? And like, what are you doing? People that come off it are good. Great. Eh? People that can get off it. It's amazing. It's so much willpower. Is it? Oh, yeah. I have no idea. I don't really... Well, I've met people that have come off it and it's, like, crazy to hear, like, the stories. Like, because sometimes when people are hooked on those drugs, they don't give a shit. Like, they don't want to even come off it. They, like, they like... That? What was that movie? They Steve like it. Carell. So for them to recognise it's, like, an unhealthy, like, thing to be doing for, like, themselves and the community and their family. Oh, yeah, that fam... Oi, guys, watch this movie yeah, if you, see. like... I'm just trying to find it. I now. think they should show this ah, movie to everyone at high school. Because yeah. this is like a realistic, like, depiction of how outsiders or like your family feel, like when someone like it's some just, when someone they love is like on drugs. There. Just a powerful movie about drugs. It's called Beautiful Boy. Beautiful Boy, and, and it's got Steve Carell in it. Yeah, 2018 movie, so it's not that old. 
Yeah, I rated it. Oh, I found it depressing AF. Like, it's a movie that's, like, very somber and raw and sad. Well, look, here's the real-life people behind the movie. Huh. So it's based on a true story. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, it's all crazy. This is, like, getting too deep, so I'm going to go. Good night. Wait, let me show you the dolls before I say, say goodbye. Privileged. Susie. Susie. Come here. Zeus. He's ignoring me away. Thank you. Hi, sir. Good night, everyone. By the way, we gave him a haircut. <laughs> Good night.